also love milk, but I don't know if that that also might be why I was attracted to this. But anyway. What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl The Notorious and to the I to the A. And today we are back with another perfume series video. Today we are going to be talking about the Commodity Milk Fragrance. I absolutely think this fragrance is so unique and so cool simply because of how the brand markets their fragrances. So they have something called a scent space. They're doing away with old industry jargon and they've created a scent space to give you a greater control over the intensity and projection of your scent. Each commodity fragrance is available in three scent based concentrations, which is personal, expressive, and bold. Basically what that means is that for every fragrance that they have, so this one is milk, they have a personal milk, a expressive milk, which is this one, and then a milk bold. So I absolutely love that. I love that you get to choose what you would want because everybody is different i express that all the time in my perfume videos so the fact that they give you options love them for that this is my first commodity fragrance but i really don't think it will be my last love commodity for the branding like the brand philosophy they say the art of perfumery should be intuitive a commodity we're demystifying fragrance in order to make it exceptionally accessible we like to keep things simple no smoke no mirrors just a passion for ethical elemental and atypical i love it but let's just get into the fragrance so like i said I have Milk Expressive. Now this was a Christmas gift and in choosing which one that I wanted, the Expressive or the Bold, reading the notes, I was like, mm, I'm definitely more of a Expressive person. The Bold intrigued me because it was going viral on TikTok, but I'm not really one to hop on trends when it comes to something as personal as fragrance. Milk Expressive retails for $135 for this size and the travel size is $25. So that is also a great way to try it out. They also have discovery sets for this brand. So if you don't know where you want to start or if you don't think Milk is your girl, let me show you guys the packaging. So you get this outer sleeve that I have got my finger prints all over and then you will get this box which says commodity right on the front you will open it up they will give you a card that defines your fragrance and also will include the notes and I love stuff like this because they have it written out as a definition and I love branding like that underneath the card you will have your fragrance love her okay i love her she is perfect she is the right amount of strong for me she is not overdoing it and this smells so good on my body chemistry so let me tell you guys the notes i always like to put out a disclaimer i am a warm gourmand girl i love creamy vanilla -y, warm comforting fragrances this is what milk is i also love milk but i don't know if that that also might be why i was attracted to this but anyway they describe milk as a noun a opaque white liquid rich in sweet creams and fresh woods seeking comfort in the familiar this creamy calming scent offers the perfect start to the day and it says no use in crying over spilled milk and that is one of my favorite lines when i read that i was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so like i mentioned before i got milk in the scent space expressive and expressive collection is considered by many to be the perfect balance of longevity and projection these fragrances will make a statement without overpowering any space to be noticed by you and the many around you i can agree the projection on this 
is really really good but it's also not too much you smell it on yourself and also the people around you can smell it i know the first day that i put this on my girl nisha was like you smell good and that my friends is one of my favorite compliments so like let's get into the juice before we get into the notes like Mm. the notes for milk the top notes or what they call the first note is cold milk accord and skin musk the middle what they call the then note is tonka bean and warm marshmallow and the base which they call finally is mahogany wood it's really the perfect amount of like calm and but still bold expressive is the right word i am not the biggest fan of woody scents but i know a lot of fragrances need something to ground it so the mahogany wood isn't super terrible it isn't bad at all because i would be completely turned off if it was what really gravitated me towards this was the middle notes because tonka bean and warm marshmallow i have been loving tonka bean lately but definitely warm marshmallow because contrary to popular belief i am not a fan of killian love don't be shy and i am also not really the biggest fan of princess either really needed to find another fragrance house that did a marshmallow but did a marshmallow in a way that i can appreciate and i really feel like commodity did that this is the perfect milky creamy marshmallowy like it's sweet but it also has that base of wood so it is grounded and it's just this is my perfect signature marshmallow fragrance it definitely could do some layering which i know a lot of people look for because that's how you get your signature scents and this is definitely capable of doing that it's also not like anything that i have so i really really love that about it too and there is no vanilla in this fragrance if i had to say what season i feel like this fragrance is most appropriate for i would definitely say winter 10 out of 10 for me i'm very happy to be starting off my new year with her me personally i think the expressive space is where i'm going to live can't really even imagine what bold would smell like because this is enough for me I did read the notes for bold and there was a lot of wood a lot of wood and I was like I don't know and then with milk personal I feel like I do still like my fragrances to be a little bit loud you know for lighter days or maybe even the spring summer that might be where I look into personal it's definitely a lighter scent and i think it would be good for those warmer months we'll see i think this one is perfect when it comes to milk i also did smell gold and i also am considering getting that so let's just stay tuned to see where me and commodity go from here i would recommend this for anybody who loves those warm comforting cozy scents this is a great place to start if you guys have tried these let me know if you feel like you are a personal expressive or bold girl i just think this is the perfect in between they describe it so perfectly like literally it's not overpowering it's something for you to notice on yourself as well as other people around you to notice can't really lose even if you don't like this you either can go up or down i just just love that flexibility because I preach about that all the time but I thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye